Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and quite often I'm asked, what do you actually need to set up a YouTube channel? Well, there's a few things you need, one of which is a camera, preferably a microphone, but the next really important thing is some decent lights. So today we're going to take a look at a lighting kit with a tripod from a company called Mount Dog. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so you've probably never heard of Mount Dog, and to be honest with you, up until recently, neither had I. But they reached out to me and said, uh, Mike, we liked your videos on your softboxes that you've already done, which are currently illuminating the studio space, and they wondered if I'd like to take a look at their product. Now, they look very similar to the ESDDI or ESSDI lamps that I've already got and that people have already reviewed before, but this little package is something a little bit different. So let's take out a box, which I've almost done already, and take a closer look. Okay, so as you can see from the side of the bag, it says Mount Dog, which is the company's branding. Now, this bag is actually quite a lot bigger than the bag that you get from uh, ESDDI. Now, the equipment looks very similar. I'm not saying it is exactly the same. It looks like it's a slightly modified version of the original kit. But let's have a look and see what we actually get inside this big carry bag. Now, first of all, there is this. This is a lightweight tripod, which is actually the first time I've seen a tripod actually included with the softbox kit. So basically this is your kind of one-stop shop to get yourself up and running as a photographer or to start making YouTube videos. Now that I'm assuming is going to be a light bulb. That I'm hoping is another light bulb. Now that in there is going to be the softbox reflectors or reflector. Yep, because there's two of those. So two reflectors, two bulbs, and these boxes here are going to be the tripod stands for the bulbs, uh, for the reflectors. No, nothing else in there. Right, right, I'm going to clear away some of this stuff and we'll get back and have a look at these items in more depth. Okay, so first things first, let's look at the tripod for the softbox. So this is uh, pretty much your normal kind of deal for a tripod. And this goes from what I've been reliably told from 27 inches up to 78 inches. And it actually does feel a slightly better quality than the uh, the previous one that I had from ESDDI. Feels very sturdy. So, pretty good. Pretty decent uh, tripods. Feel quite, quite strong, quite sturdy. They've got quite a nice kind of uh, plastic coating on them as well, so um, no sharp edges or anything nasty like that. Looking good so far. Now, obviously, all this was in this uh, canvas bag. You can choose to use that if you want. You don't entirely have to. If you've got your own setup or your own bags, you can use that, but it's kind of nice to get it included in the kit. So let's take a look at these reflectors. Actually, yeah, this feels like a, an upgraded version of the previous ones. Like I said, the SD or the I ones. These feel a little bit more um, like a thicker, I'm not sure if it's plastic, I guess it is some sort of ABS plastic. Got a nice texture to it. And the uh, the ring which puts onto which fits onto the uh, the ES socket actually feels really good and solid, really sturdy. And it comes with a molded 13 amp UK plug. At least I think it's 13 amp. Nope, 3 amp, so nice and low fuse rating, so if there's ever anything wrong with the bulb, it's going to trip really easily, which is a nice thing. And again, you've got the Mount Dog logo on the side, and you've got a little bit of Velcro on there, so you can use these as a reflector, like this, or you can put on a softbox front or filter. So these just wrap around the outside. Which actually, if I stick this onto a tripod, it'd probably be a bit easier to show you. This probably looks exceptionally awkward. There you go, and the Velcro tabs on the side just hold it all nicely in place. 
so there we go that's a that's one nicely set up little light box now actually let's see how long the cable is and see if i can actually plug it in so and give you an idea of what the light output is like on it hopefully it's going to reach would help if i put the bulb in <laughs> so excited to get it up and running as you can tell by the chuckle from Cam. This is the kind of thing that normally happens here. <laughs> so uh, E27 or ES type screw on there. These bulbs that come with it, 135 watt, and they're rated at 5,500 Kelvins. Uh, they work on the 220 to 240 volt range and then the 50 to 60 Hertz. Um, whatever <laughs> frequency now obviously if you buy these from amazon uh, us or from canada or europe or wherever obviously do make sure you're getting the ones which are appropriate for your region chances are if you get them directly from mount dog then any questions or if you put in the comments or in your order or just let them know just say look this is the country i'm in can you send me the right kit chances are you're going to get the right stuff anyway but obviously do make sure because there are various versions available now the bulb itself just screws in and 135 watts is a, is a pretty good wattage for, the, for this kind of thing. So let's plug that back in. Ooh, I must have left the switch on. So hopefully that's uh, illuminated the subject somewhat. Now it's actually interesting to see that I've already got the, uh, a very similar setup to this in the studio or living room uh, in two positions already, which is why I wanted to get another set of these actually is to give me the options to do uh, three point or four point lighting setups because at the moment it does seem kind of dark in this area sometimes and it's a pain. I've got this uh, angle point lamp which I have to angle around to try and get a good shot and if I look directly at it it's just it's awful. So hopefully I'll be able to get rid of that thing once and for all. So we'll have these lights set up but it's quite a, it's actually quite a blue light now. I don't know whether it's because the, the bulbs are brand new uh, and they take a little while to kind of uh, for the color to come through on them a little bit but they actually do look like they're in a, a, a more bluey spectrum than my existing bulbs. And I will take those out and actually have a look. I'm not sure if those are actually a slightly lower Kelvin, maybe 47s, but these are 55s. So, oh, well, that's looking pretty good. Now, I'm not sure what it looks like on the camera because I can't actually see the camera from here, but hopefully that's, uh, that's very illuminating. So 135 watts, it's pretty good. And obviously you get two of them in a pack with the tripod as well, which we'll get on to have a look at now. Let's get rid of this out of the way. Now you can probably tell just by me turning that off, actually, the difference is made already. That in there is just another reflector, another setup, another soft box. So I'm not going to bother unboxing that because basically you can see what it's like. But what I will do at the very end of this video, I will actually have all the lights wired up and I'll have them set up properly. And I'll do a piece to camera just so you can get a good idea of what it's actually going to look like. Well, I'm more interested to see how good or bad the tripod is. Now, it comes in its own kind of weatherproof um, carry case, which is really nice. So it's actually quite lightweight. I've got a, uh, a Velbon tripod, which I will grab, which is a similar kind of uh, size, but actually it's a lot heavier. So this, if you're doing a lot of traveling or you're, you're shooting out and about, then the lightweight tripod. It's actually going to be pretty good. Now, hopefully with both tripods and I've actually got, I've got my Lumix G7 camera and I've also got a Lumix G3 camera. So hopefully when I get my light set up properly I'll be able to do multi-cam which is going to make uh, shooting a lot easier and also give uh, a bit of variety to the filming. So there we go, that's a, a pretty nice tripod. Now, features wise, you've got, from what I can see at the moment, you've got a tilting head. So have I. You've got a removable hot shoe with a nice rubberized uh, thread on the bottom. That's pretty cool, we like that. So if you want to leave your camera mounted on the tripod, but then you want to take it off to do some kind of b-roll some freehand shots just quick release it that's really nice and straightforward to do he says 
Uh, on the side, you've got a spirit level, so you can make sure your shots are nice and level. Now, actually, also, I just noticed there is another spirit level actually on the uh, tripod itself. So first of all, you can get a tripod level, and then you can get your camera level. So you've got two options there for working out if you're level or not. Then we've got a, a twist and turn and tilt pan head. So you can move that in any position you want to, to get some really decent shots. And you can go down completely 90 degrees and to the sky. Um, you'd be lucky if you get more than probably, I would say that's about 65 degrees possibly. But the rest of it, 360 degrees around. You've actually got a nice molded carry handle, which is quite a nice little feature. Now the feet, looking down at the feet, got rubber feet as well, non-slip feet, so that's pretty good. The central locking column, just is a collar, you just turn it. Now, this is very similar, I think there was an Amazon Basics uh, tripod which I reviewed previously, which was under a different name, I think it was Hammer. So I'll put a link up there to that. This is very similar to that, so this is in effect a probably 20, 25 pounds in value of tripod which is part of the kit, which actually I haven't spoken to about the price. Um, this currently, as far as I'm aware, isn't available in the UK. Uh, for UK shoppers at the moment, in uh, well, late September, currently they only do the softbox kit as a single or a double. They don't actually have the option for having this as a, a bundle at the moment, but they assure me that is coming. So if you are looking at getting this as a bundle, then uh, Check the links out below and you can see if it's actually come into stock yet, but it is due any time now. Um, but yeah, in the UK, £20 for a single softbox, £40 for two softboxes. I'm kind of guesstimating with the tripod as well, you should be looking about £60. In the moment in the US is $65, so taking into account the exchange rate and all that kind of thing, um, that's the price I would expect to see. Obviously, when that gets updated or it does become available, I'll link in the description below or I may even do an update on the video to let you know the current pricing. So, going back to the tripod, so you've got sectional feet, and this should go to an approximate height of about 60 inches, I would imagine. Um, if you want the exact measurements, then let me know, and I will find out the exact measurements, but I would say it's about 60 inches, around about five foot, so kind of like eye level when you're filming. You've also got quite a lot of extension as well. There's a, a kind of nice geared, center pole so you can raise and lower and gets held in place by the turn of screw there so then you can just use your camera actually you can't even see that can you because it's too high up <laughs> so yeah basically just lock it into place and then you can swivel the camera to your heart's content and as usual thing just turn screws just to lock it into position if you want to um, yeah so that's pretty much it I kind of like this it's a, it's a lovely kit and if you're looking to get into doing either YouTube videos or you're going out filming it, uh, I don't know, if you're going out filming somewhere where you need to use a tripod, this is a really good thing to do. If you're doing more studio based stuff, obviously the softbox is going to be really useful. Um, so I think this is a really nice little kit. Um, you've got pretty much everything you need to get yourself set up, started. So whether you're doing um, tech videos, you're doing beauty tutorials, Whatever the case may be, if you're looking to do some kind of studio setup and you want some really good lighting, then these uh, Mount Dog softbox kits with the tripod, you can't go wrong. You've got everything you need to start making some really quality uh, footage. And it goes to show, regardless of what type of camera you've got, if you've got good lighting or you've got a lot of light, your films will be much better. Now, just as a, uh, for example, I'm gonna go ahead now and turn off these the soft boxes so you can see what it'd be like without them, just with normal light, which is available in your household. Okay, so that's what you'd get from a normal tungsten light bulb in your house. So I'm gonna turn this one off as well. So essentially, this is what you're gonna be dealing with if you're just using the normal lights in your house. Now obviously you could add a few more lamps, I've got a monitor behind me giving off some light, um, you could use a desk lamp, etc. But this is the kind of footage you're gonna be getting without a softbox kit. So let's see what it's like with the lights back on again, and I'll put the, the new lights on as well. So be right back. Okay, so that was a, a quick turnaround. So we've got the two lights set up, so I've got them both 
in front of me and they're approximately sort of two and a half foot away from me so hopefully it should be illuminating now this is going to be kind of like the perfect setup so again if you're doing some sort of makeup tutorials or uh, any sort of pieces to camera it's really good for highlighting you at the moment I've got the other two lights which are turned off so I don't want to sort of take away from that just so give you a really good idea of what this is like so this is the Mount Dog Studio Softbox Kit with Tripod. I think it's a really great little kit, especially if you're starting off, like I've said, uh, or even if you've got existing setup and you wanna just add to it and up your lighting, this is a really good way of doing it and it's very cost effective for the 60 pounds or $65 or whatever it's gonna be in the UK. Um, it's not a massive amount of expenditure to bring your lighting up just to that extra level to get some really sharp and really good pictures. So hopefully this has been useful to you. If you've liked the video, click on the like button. If you dislike the video, click on the dislike button, but let me know in the comments why you dislike the video. If you've got any questions about these soft boxes or uh, about the tripod, then obviously let me know again in the comments. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and this has been the Mount Dog Softbox Photography Kit. Thanks for watching.